Musasul Dovakin, welcome back to the exciting adventures of Catspur, the friend the ghost. And we are here in the ruins of Sarathal on a field trip with the college. Let's see what happens. You know, there might be gold somewhere in here. You don't say. I find it hard to believe this excavation was approved. Oh, wait. Sacked by the elves in the... You know, there might be gold tears. somewhere in Not here. Not much is known about what happened to Sarthor. This is an exciting opportunity for us to be able to study such an early civilization and... Well, are there any questions before we begin? Um... Yeah, what should I be doing anyway? Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gaines? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. Oh, okay. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted items will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, the class can look it over. Okay. Now, let's see. What shall we have the rest of you do? Berliner, my dear, why don't you search for warding magics? Anything designed to keep people out <laughs> and interact with them, just identify them. All right, everyone, let's be careful. Yeah, right? okay, so... <laughs> sure, okay. Let's go find Arneo. Do you think there's treasure here? Something to make Jezargo a powerful wizard? Uh, I don't know about that, but uh, we'll see. I wonder if everyone else would be so happy to rifle through the bones of their ancestors. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. Uh, which one am I going here? Oh yeah, down this way. Watch my step. Hey, Arnie. It's going to take forever to sit through all this. Yeah, well, told for something to give you a hand. Ah, yes. You. I remember you. You're going to help? That's fine. Just... Just don't make a mess of my work. I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh... You can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, all right? We don't want to damage anything. Mm, okay. Until all right. Time. Yeah, all right. So I just need to find some stuff lying around here on the ground, huh? All right, let's see. I'll look over here. I'll look over here. Hmm. Oh, look, uh, there's a quest marker. Now, there's something there that I can pick up. Now, interestingly enough, it is almost impossible to see, but luckily I've got the uh, quest markers activated, so if I can just get close enough. Ah, there we go. Yep. Yeah, that ring. Did you see that ring? Can you see that ring over here? here. You know what? Here, let me... Uh... Oh, hey, I actually know... Um... Where is it here? I actually know Mage Lay. Let's... Uh... Whoops, wrong spell. There we go. Oh, now you can actually... Yeah, you see, with that I can actually see the ring on the ground. Nothing I really need to, but... There we go. Now let's come over this way. There should be another ring. I put my hand down. There we go, take the ring. Alrighty. Oh, look, there's something there. Oh, it's an amulet. Ancient amulet. Ooh, pretty. Whoop, what happened? Hey. Hey. What's going on here? What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? Uh, well, I'm kind of like stuck here. How in the world did that happen? Well, you know, you told me yeah, I was told to find some stuff, and um, so I found something. Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some way you can use it? Mm, gee, I don't know. Maybe if I, uh rub it on my tummy and pat my head three times or how about if I um I don't know maybe if I just uh I put it on do you see Ooh. That? yeah I do some kind of resonance you and the wall it must be connected to the amulet you think I wonder what effect might your spells have well let's see uh well word spell doesn't do anything let's try mage late oh wow Let's, uh, just in case, let's get ready for, uh, bringing up Spooky. Okay, so, uh, what's next? 
I'll follow you, huh? Well, this is highly unusual and yeah. very interesting. Yeah. What an interesting, long, and... Hey, who, who lit that torch? Must be magic. Well, hey, what a wonderful dead end we found. Some ruined books. And... Speak quickly. What? Speak quickly. Uh, who said that? What? Hey, where'd you come from? And listen well. Okay. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Well, ain't that sweet. Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. Danger? This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. You, mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Well. Take great care and know that the Order is watching. Um. Hmm. Okay, so we got uh, danger, but I'm like. I, in the I, I swear I felt something rather strange just then. <coughs> what just happened? Well, um, there was this uh, ghost or something. I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? Um, yeah, but uh, uh, look behind you. You know what? Let me get it back here and um, let's get some spooky happening. Whoops. Now, I'm going to pause this for a second and just talk to you a little bit about um, something uh, about this whole run and the way it's going to progress from here on. When I first um, attempted this, I went, um, before even coming to uh, Winterhold, I did a little bit of an involved quest chain and got a magic bow that would make me invisible so that I could cast, I could bring up Spooky, go invisible, and I could then um, watch and see what Spooky was doing and what was going on, but without anybody seeing me and, um, you know, doing things like, you know, chopping my head off. And that went really well, but um, having that invisibility... I kind of got too used to it, so I kind of avoided a lot of stuff that I normally wouldn't have been able to avoid, even as stealthy as I eventually became. So I decided not to use the bow this time in invisibility, but that poses a dilemma because I do still want to see what's going on. So I managed to get a... a um, I found an amazing mod which um, hotkeys the free camera. Now, normally, to activate the free camera, you have to bring up the console and type TFC. And then, um, well, I'm not going to do it right now because we're in the middle of combat. But that would allow me to then move. I could park myself back wherever I want to safely be, you know, sitting. And then move the camera around. And then pop back when I'm done. And But, uh, you know, using the console to do, turn it on and off and on and off and on and off can uh, just be tedious and you wouldn't want to see that but with this uh, amazing uh, with this amazing mod installed I can um, go down here to mod configurations and it's called customizable camera is the mod and if I come down here to features and then over here you'll see that there I have hot keyed the F1 button the F1 key to toggle the camera on and off so with that said I can back up over here, go into, I can sneak down, and then bring up the camera, and now I can, um, whoops, don't clip into the ground though, we can actually watch what's going on, like I can get over here and, uh, whoops, it's going to take me a while to get back to you to this, I, there we go, 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 spooky. There's another one. Get him. Tolfir, you still got another one, or where are you? Oh, yeah. You want to help? Maybe not. All right. Whoops. And I forgot about that. Yeah. One thing I got to be careful of if I try going to free camera mode when I'm in first person mode 
it uh, everything goes glitchy. But as long as I'm not in first person, I can then turn the camera on and move around. So there's that. That's going to make, I'm going to have to be doing a little bit of camera work and stuff, but uh, it will make the video a lot more interesting because I, with that, whoops, okay, go ahead. I felt something rather strange uh, just then. Yeah, you what think? Didn't we, um, didn't we have this conversation already? I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? Yeah, okay, they said, um, before we were interrupted, uh, he said something about danger and the Sigic Order. The Sigic Order? Are you quite sure about that? That's yep. very odd. And danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. The really? Sigics have no connection to these ruins. And no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Yeah, now, you... please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? Yeah, okay, be careful. All right, then. We're going to be very careful. Now, um, one other wonderful thing, since we have the farm that's going to be making us oodles and oodles of gold, there is absolutely no need for me to loot anything. I will occasionally pick up some stuff just probably for, you know, shits and giggles, but uh, won't be worrying about looting pretty much uh, at all. Okay, so now we got some fun about to begin again. Hey, uh, Told Fear, um, you know, you just said be careful, and what are you doing? Oh, you're stopping here. Oh, oh no, there you go. Um, I'm going to let you go first. It looks dangerous. Indiana Jones. Okay, so, uh-oh. Uh, I see trouble, and when I see trouble, I back up and stand back and watch. Uh, Spooky, you want to do something? There you go. I think I can turn off my... Uh... Yeah, turn off the crosshairs. There we go. I don't need them. Well, that's still... Bear with me, folks. Okay, the crosshairs are turned off, so let's... I don't suppose there's something in Sky UI for that, is there? Uh... Oh, I do want to make sure that is set to zero so that I always have the time thingy for spooky. Okay, controls. That's just for the hotkeys. Title focus. Hmm. Not that we make the uh, eye go away, but oh, that's right, because I'm in I'm in um, stealth, so that's always going to be there. Uh oh, spooky! Can you get the last one before you go? Oh, nope, there's still another one there, but spooky's down. Go spooky. No, I, was, I thought there was only one left. There's a couple of them. Go get them spooky. All right. Go 
Good job, Spooky. What do you think, Tolf here? Really? This bears closer inspection. I'd like to stay a while and examine this. You, however, should press on. Oh, thanks. You can find whatever this vision of yours mentioned. But if it is truly dangerous, be careful. Go on ahead. I'll be sure and catch up with you before long. Yeah, okay. All right, now before we continue, it's uh, time to take a short break here. Thank you for watching, folks. As always, uh, please, if you've been... Sorry about that, Spooky. As always, uh, please uh, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more, and please leave comments. Let me know good or bad what you think. I'm obviously uh, going to be posting this a whole bunch of these episodes before anybody gets a chance to comment, but uh, please let me know. Thanks again. We'll catch you in a little bit.